abortion cannot and will not be banned. It is a right for every woman in America to legally abort a fetus. The affirmative would say that an abortion is murdering a human being. But when most abortions are do done during the first trimester, meaning early in the pregnancy, it is not. At this point, the embryo has not even developed fingers or toes or other things that make humans humans. If you're going to say that an embryo is a human, then you're going to say that two conjoined cells is a human also. Also, according to Stuart W. G. Derbyshire, Ph.D., senior lecturer at the University of Birmingham, fetuses are not able to feel pain when an abortion is performed. The biological development necessary to support a painful experience does not occur until birth. The main reasons for why abortion should stay legal is because if not, it will create back alley abortions, it is arguably better for the community and the child, and also it will ruin young adults' childhoods. With our country being free, women should have the choice in doing this procedure. My first argument is that if abortion becomes illegal, it will not stop abortion completely, or even come close. Whether it's drinking, doing drugs, or even prostitution, law is broken. So how could we expect anything different with abortion? With young young women, they could, not, they could just not face their parents, the embarrassment at school, or the lifetime responsibility that comes with having a child. Also, if abortion would become a criminal act, it would force trained professionals to not do the procedure, which would create back alley abortions. Back alley abortions are abortions that are not done by doctors, but are done by people who don't know what they're doing, or even the mother herself. These type of methods often lead to sterility or even death. Before abortion became legal, the approximately 10,000 women each year died from, from it or from complications leading to death later in life. More than that amount of women became sterile, meaning they could no longer reproduce. If abortion would be made illegal again, these death numbers would surely be high once again. Maybe not that high, but surely close. Every time in history when abortion is banned, tons of women are harmed from it. We have to have learned from our mistake of criminalizing abortion and not do it again, because we know the problems that it has caused. The second argument that I will present is it is better for the society to not have women giving birth to children who they cannot successfully raise. When children are raised by parents who cannot sex successfully raise them, it will not only put a burden on the parents, but it will most likely give the kid a not a good quality of life. Some would say that if the parents cannot take care of the child, they could put them up for um, the adoption or foster homes. But the community already has so many kids in the adoption agency, what would happen if no parent would be able to choose that specific child? They would have to go through the, the grueling process of foster families, which is definitely not a good quality of life. Also kids that are raised by parents who neglect them or cannot provide for them often become drug addicts, lifelong government aid recipients, or criminals. Also, some people would say, what if Martin Luther King's mom had an abortion? Where would we be today? What I would say to that is, what if Adolf Hitler or Saddam bin Laden's mothers had an abortion? I think lots of people would be happy. Abortions being legalized would damage the community greatly. My last argument is that one mistake should not be able to ruin one's childhood. We are all human, we all make mistakes, and one mistake should not ruin one's young life. Especially at an age when people are searching for who they are, one mistake could change everything. If abortion stayed le legal, teens that made these bad decisions could get a second chance and move on with their lives, knowing that they made a mistake and learned from it. If these teens had to raise the child, they most likely would not be able to go to college or get a job because they would have to take care of the child. If abortion becomes illegal, it is punishing young adults for life because they would be held back by the burden of the child. To legalize abortion would not only cause back alley abortions, it will ruin teens' lives if they cannot abort the child. And also, the babies will have to grow up in harsh environments, which will only be bad for the community. Abortion needs to stay legal. How can you expect someone who is not responsible enough to be able to use protection to take care of a child. If you think about it, whether you're a boy or a girl and you made a mistake and the girl became pregnant, wouldn't you want the choice to be able to abort it, 
even if you wanted to raise a child. Just the choice is what people want. And that is what Matt and I want. Vote negative. Thank you.